Yeezys. <laughs> like, like really <laughs> love Yeezys. <laughs> Let's talk about that. So yeah, like I was saying, really love Newsies. It's my favourite musical, if I haven't already said that on this channel. And I'm relatively lucky as far as fans go. I got to see it when it was on tour, um, because by some crazy stroke of coincidence when I was on holiday in Toronto, the tour was in Toronto. It was insane. Um, and then I saw it twice while its cinema screenings were happening over here, and I also got to interview tour cast member Nick Mason as part of my podcast. So yeah, I'd say I'm pretty lucky. But as those of you that know me in real life know, when a show that I like is on in the West End, I don't shy away from going to see it. I saw In the Heights five times during its West End run, and the first time I saw it was only a year before it closed. I don't live in London. <laughs> So that's kind of what happened when In the Heights was in London. So like, I would love to be able to have my favourite show on, on In the West End. I'd love to be able to stage door my favourite show because I didn't do that when I was in Toronto because it was a new city. Stage doors are kind of back areas you don't really want to go to and it was dark and it was late. So there's all these things that I'd love to do with my favourite show if it was in a city closer to where I live. So. Here I'm doing <laughs> my Newsies West End dream cast. People that if Newsies ever came to the West End, I would like to see in it. I'm not saying these are the people that have to be in it, I'd quite happily take any cast of people, but I thought this would be fun and interesting. As this is a West End cast, a uh, dream cast, I'm predominantly gonna try West End and UK based actors, um, just to kind of give it a little twist in the video, but Let's see how this goes. So first up, the first role I'm casting is obviously Jack Kelly, our lead, our hero, or whatever you want to call Jack. I love Jack Kelly. Um, but uh, for Jack, there is one person that I've had in mind for Jack since November when I saw this person in actually their West End debut. This is like, this isn't even a, I've seen them in a few roles and now I've seen them as Jack. This is like one role and I was like, you are Jack Kelly, my friend. And that is Charlie Stemp from Half a Sixpence. He was incredible in this show, as you may know if you watch my Half a Sixpence review. And um, just, I feel like he's got that kind of charm, but also the passion to be Jack, as well as the, the insecurity that comes kind of in act two with Jack and this like charming nature that Jack has. I just think he could pull it off really well. The one shame I think of casting Charlie as Jack is that he is also an incredible dancer and it tends to be the other newsboys that get featured as in these dance roles like Race and Jojo like. Uh, so I think it would be like, it would be nice to see Charlie dance in these newsboy songs but also I think He'd just be so good as Jack that I don't think we can pass that up. And I haven't strayed far from half a sixpence with some of my other casting. Um, next up we got Crutchy and as Crutchy I would cast Sam O'Rock who is currently playing Buggins in half a sixpence as Crutchy because I don't know it's just one of those things that came after I associated Jack, after I associated Charlie with Jack. He kind of fitted in naturally after that. He's got this sweet, like, crunchy style. He's like the short little friend in half six months. That's not me. That's, that's not mean. That's the character he's playing. And that's crunchy. And just I kind of. I see him going together as Jack and Crunchy now. So, that's my Jack Crunchy thing. Um, next up, we have got Catherine. And for this, I am casting Charlotte Wakefield as Catherine. She's kind of older now and there might be younger actresses that could play Catherine as well but I just think she's got the, the she's got kind of the wit and the sass and the the voice to play Catherine. She is in the past played Vendler in Spring Awakening and Veronica in Heathers. So if I'm gonna live my dream roles vicariously through someone else because I can't sing, let it be Charlotte Wakefield to complete the trio saying <laughs> but no I do think she'd be a brilliant Catherine and let's see her in those power bangs someday. Uh, next up we've got Davy and I seriously 
initially struggled with Davy, so I opened it up to my Instagram followers. If you're not following me on Instagram, at Vertica Jenny. Just, just a hint. Just a hint. So I put on my Instagram story for my UK, like, UK friends. Hit me up with some people you could see playing Davy if there were a Western production of movies. And um, I got two lame as actors through. Um, I got Ed Campbell Bird, who played Marius for a bit, I think. I don't know lame as nearly as well as I should. Um, I love lame as. It's fine. It's just not something I get super attached to, like my own musicals. Um, and just having a look at the stuff he's done before, I could definitely see him as Davey, but not as much as the other actor I got sent through, who was actually the second choice actor that I got sent. But Johnny Purchase, I know, he's just got such a Davey look about him. All the Davies have a similar look, I've noticed. They all look... I mean, there's only three because Jacob Kemp did it. No, not Jacob Kemp. Ben Frank Hauser did it the whole time on Broadway. So you've got less Davies to compare than the other actors. But I still think they've got this very similar look and I feel like he fits that little Davy look and just the Davy singing that I've seen him do. I could definitely see him as Davy. Davy's a great character and it's starting to sound weird the more I say it, so I'm gonna move on. Um, next, I'm casting Racetrack Higgins because I love Racetrack Higgins and here's why I'm breaking my own rule. We're bringing Ben Tyler Cook to London. In fact, I don't even care if he's playing racetrack again. He can be in any show. I just want Ben Tyler Cook in London. Boy is so talented. Just, like, actually, while we're on Ben Cook as race, there's, there's a number of Torsies I would quite happily see in anything over here in the West End, or Newsies for that matter. Come, come do Newsies for me, Torsies, hey? But yeah. This is my little Newsies dream cast. If it were to ever come to the West End, let me know if you have any actors you would love to see in these movie roles. In the comments down below, give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Check out my social network links, they'll be in the description. As usual, share this video with your friends so everyone can see it. And before I do my final one, um, Disney Cabaret. Uh, I started doing some things on their YouTube channel. I started doing some news videos. You should go check them out because I have a lot of fun making them, and you sh if you want to know more Disney news, have a look at the Disney news videos. That's my new slogan. I'm not going into marketing anytime soon. <laughs> and finally, if you want to see more videos like this, remember to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye! Oh, oh, I can't. I'm currently stuck in my news. Yeah.